So this YouTube channel is documenting things that aren't in the manual. And one of the things that is not in the manual is uh, on cleaning the block and the crankshaft and getting it ready for assembly. Now I'm already done. I'm going to uh, walk you through what I did. Uh, but uh, so the question is, what happens when the machine shop says they're going to clean your block? Uh, what, do you, what questions do you need to ask of your machine shop? And if you're cleaning your own, what kind of tools and things uh, do you use and what, can you, what results can you expect? Uh, I've got 10 to 15 hours worth of cleaning into this one and you might uh, double think about doing it yourself and, and have the machine shop do it with the right process. So anyway, uh, let's just dive into the video. If you enjoy this video, uh, please like it, uh, subscribe, give me a comment, let me know what you've done and, and, and share your experiences. Here we go. Um, you might ask, why not just leave it in there? Well, one of the challenges I had with this engine was every time I changed the oil, very quickly the oil just turned black. And it, I think it was because it was just dissolving this, uh, this coating here, this sludge. Um, use a sludge remover. Well, maybe that would have worked. Um, I don't believe in them. I think they release a bunch of junk into your engine. But uh, anyway, uh, that's up to you to decide. I don't really know all that much about it. This is the first time I've had an engine that's had a sludge problem. But what causes that black? A um, couple of different things. The One of the obvious things is going to be the rings are, are, uh, are shot, so you're getting blow by of the carbon. So that was one problem. Um, the other is that I was researching and running into this interesting is that running on a cold thermostat will cause this problem too, uh, too cold. And this engine was actually, when I bought it, it took me uh, quite a while to figure it out that the previous owner had, it was running very cold and the previous owner, owner had removed the thermostat altogether. So that contributed to the black buildup that was on this engine too. So anyway, I've got to finish that up. Uh, lesson learned is clean this up before you send it to the machine shop. I actually thought this was a black paint. There's a paint that you can use that will, that you can spray on the inside here that will cause the oil to just run quickly back down into the pan. And I thought, well, maybe that's what that is. It was so hard to get off when I originally uh, was fighting it. So um, lesson learned. Uh, well, uh... So here's a quick spray out once with uh, with brake clean. I'm going to take it out and pressure wash it now, but I just wanted to get the most of it out one time. I've uh, I've emptied a couple of cans of brake clean on this. I've used a uh, a, uh, a a brush on it to try to get it um, out of there again. I wish I had done this prior to sending it to the machine shop, um, but you can see the amount of uh, a junk that's coming out of here. Um, I've got it. I've got it pretty well cleaned on that. But imagine that all being black on these walls, and, and, and so on. I've still got some to go. And uh, just gonna say, this is probably a better setting to do this in here. That stuff will kill you if you breathe it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it outside, and uh, with a wind at my back. And uh, there's a lot more to go. You can see that. It needs to be a bright silver. Let me see if I can find a place that's cleaner. Bright goldish silver. That's clean, cleaner. But you can still see the black in there. Um, as far as chemical cleaners go, you can see I've still got the black here. But that looks a lot better. Um, I've tried a variety of things. I tried marble um, mystery oil. Um, something that does help. It, believe it or not, is purple power. Um, you can just keep spraying it on. I've been spraying it on the sides and keep brushing it with uh, with with this brush, uh, which has been very very good. And and, and just keep going. And uh, and you can tell with the paper towel um, if you're getting uh, still getting grease off of it or if it's coming off clean. How how far you've gotten. The best chemical cleaner I have found so far to get this stuff off is a uh, brake clean um, pro series strongest formula uh, i i have no nobody sponsoring me or anything so don't uh don't get it that way i've just tried a bunch of stuff this is going to take me hours to 
to get this done, but that I'll pressure wash this again when I'm done. But you, you can see in there all the all the grit that's coming that's coming out of this. It's a it's a mess. And there's been a couple uh, the uh, getting down in there, getting way down in there. You can see how clean that is. Compare that to this side. That side's fairly dirty. You can see the oil streaks down the side. Um, this side's fairly clean. Uh, and, and, and up in here, I've gotten clean. It was all black and smudgy. Um, some of the, still got some work to do in there. Challenge is how do you get up in there in a controlled way? Uh, so I found a couple of brushes that were really helpful. One is uh, for, for just getting at it, is this big brush on an extension. And uh, that is uh, clutch item 42280 um, and, and an extension I had for my drill. And then another one I found really, really helpful on the end of my Dremel tool to get way up in there is this guy right here. And that um, came in this mini stainless steel wire brush set uh, item Full clutch four three two five eight. Some other brush, another brush that I found that's helpful is uh, this one, and it's not in the uh, it's not in the um, automotive section. This is actually a welding slag brush. It's a lot stiffer, and I found for doing uh, these you know some of these surfaces in here and so on to get it getting up in there that this was really really good but this is a welding in the welding section i don't have the part number um, i also had to cut the handle off of it to in order to be able to fit it in here so anyway uh, i'm making progress this is still going to take me hours to get this out uh, another little trick um, is i am using purple power you can use just whatever i can't find where's my spray bottle here it is i'm using Diluted purple power like uh, you know 10 to 1 something like that and, and I'm just keeping it sprayed down there and as I'm working with that wire brush as long as it's causing the, the, the Water to turn brown black or brown. I know I'm still getting crud out as soon as it quits turning black or brown Or isn't turning so much. I know I've got most of the crud out even though it looks clean. It's still got um, got oil sludge in it, so I'm still working away. I've got, a, as you can see, I've got a long way to go, especially down in these channels. But the tools I showed you are making it much, much easier. Something I didn't cover well was using that brass brush and purple power to clean the any machine surface. So any machine surface, I used a brass brush on to really clean out any anything left over from the from the um, machining process that includes these uh, the the, the um, where it was a line board that includes the cylinder bores that includes the tappet bores uh, anywhere where it was machined uh, I, I uh, cleaned with uh, purple power and that brass brush and I cleaned it until I got no uh, film, no residue, no discoloration on a paper towel. Okay, the engine is as clean as, uh, as I can get it. Uh, the lesson learned here uh, is one, it's, it, it took me 10 to 15 hours, something like that, to clean all of the hardened crud off of this engine. Uh, the lesson here is be very, very careful with your machine shop to understand how that engine is going to come back. If they're using the new modern methods of water, it's not going to come back clean. It's, a, it's just kind of a waste of time. So uh, uh, I showed you the tools I used as I went. The one last thing I'm going to mention is that I'm going to take one final wipe down before I start assembly. And uh, these are um, lint-free uh, tissues. Uh, I ordered this through Walmart, uh, Kimtech. Uh, 280 sheets and uh, I'll be using um, some brake clean and then some uh, th then, then probably some uh, PB blaster just to oil coat it um, when I'm done 
just to get every last little bit of speck of whatever uh, off of it that I can, and then I'll start to assembly. Ideally, you'd buy a, the right brush rather than use this. You'd buy a brush, but I could actually see down in there and see through, and there wasn't anything in any of those uh, in any of those holes. If I had seen anything, anything suspicious, and so on, I would have gone ahead and bought the, brought the brush. I just ran that through just for fun. I probably could have just sprayed it with uh, brake clean and sprayed it with PB blaster and, and and been done. It really there wasn't anything in there uh, uh, worthy of. Um, washing out. So my machine shop must have done a good job cleaning it out and brushed it out um, before I got it. Since I did not successfully have a machine shop clean my engine, I can't re really recommend any of the methods, but I did find an interesting website, uh, enginerepairshop.com, cleaning engine parts, and it goes over a variety of methods. The spray washer, which is what I think my machine is used, that just basically does grease and oil. Um, a hot tank, uh, which w will clean a lot of the junk off, but it says it doesn't uh, it doesn't clean all of the rust. Thermal cleaning, which I thought was interesting, is where it gets in an oven and bakes it up to about 500 degrees and burns it all off, grease, carbon, old paint, etc. I might have looked for a shop that did um, uh, that did this one, and then and then puts it in a steel shot blaster after that, um, and and you know, tumble, um, I, I don't know, glass bead blasting, soda blasting, ultrasonic cleaning, other miscellaneous methods. One of the coolest ones uh, I saw was uh, was using lasers. Here, let me turn it on. This is a YouTube video from uh, Laser Photonics. And let me get it started here. And you can see... Uh, basically see the laser uh, cleaning the carbon off of this. I don't know if this is valid for the kind of thing I was cleaning or not. Anyway, I would ask your machine shop, what will it get everything? Will it get it absolutely down to bare metal everywhere uh, and, and so on? So if this was helpful to you, if you, uh, as far as how to clean an engine, getting it ready for assembly, um, uh, just please subscribe uh, to the channel, like the video, make a comment if you know something that uh, I didn't cover. Uh, I really, uh, really enjoy hearing from you. So uh, thanks for watching.